The Yellowstone volcano super eruption appears to have involved multiple explosive events. The last caldera forming eruption at Yellowstone was much more complex than previously thought, according to the annual report on activity at the supervolcano. The last super eruption at Yellowstone volcano, which occurred 631,000 years ago, wasn't one big bang. Instead, the new research suggests it was a series of eruptions or multiple vents spewing out volcanic material in quick succession. According to the U.S. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory USGS, 2022 annual report, published May 4, fieldwork over the past year has provided new geological evidence that the formation of the Yellowstone caldera is much more complex than previously thought. A caldera is a large crater formed after the collapse of a volcano following an eruption. Yellowstone is one of the largest volcanic systems in the world. It is above one of Earth's hotspots. The area of the mantle where hot flashes rise and form volcanoes in the overlying crust. It has produced three caldera forming eruptions in the last three million years. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption. 2.1 million years ago, the Mesa Falls eruption, 1.3 million years ago, and the eruption of Lava Creek, 631,000 years ago. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff and Lava Creek events are considered super eruptions because they ejected more than 240 cubic miles, 1,000 cubic kilometers, of material. The latter is responsible for the formation of the Yellowstone caldera. Mesa Falls erupted 67 cubic meters, 280 cubic km, of material. So, while still about 10 times as massive as the Mount St. Helens 1980, not considered a super eruption. Previous studies have shown that Lava Creek super eruptions are not sudden. Deposits in the Sour Creek Dome area to the east of the National Park indicate that the gigantic explosion was preceded by at least one eruption. Ignimbrite, volcanic rock formed by depositing a hot mixture of material ejected during an eruption, found at the site had cooled completely before the main eruption Lava Creek charted occurred. To better understand the eruption's timeline, scientists spent 2022 remapping and collecting samples at Sour Creek Dome. It has long been known that there were at least two geological units, an amount of rock different from those surrounding it, from the eruption. And it is thought that there is little or no time lag between the two, Michael Pollan, the scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Live Science by email. Now, we think there are more units. And we're not sure what the time gap is, if any. So far, the team has found four previously unidentified ignimbrite units at Sour Creek, indicating at least four eruptive bursts. They also found two structures that look like eruption pits, which may have been the source of the rock. That could mean multiple active holes and or there was a time gap between eruptions, said Poland. But we don't yet have the data we need to answer those questions. In 2020, scientists discovered the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption, which ejected more than twice the amount of volcanic material as that of Lava Creek did, also was a gradual event. Analysis The rock at the site indicates there were three separate eruptions. With weeks to months between the first two, and years to decades between the second and third. The Yellowstone volcano is not expected to erupt anytime soon. However, the finding that the Lava Creek eruption may have followed a similar pattern to the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption may provide some insight into what will happen if and when Yellowstone does explode. This massive caldera forming eruption may not have been a single event at Yellowstone, but had several phases, said Poland. Researchers at the volcano now plan to carry out a detailed examination of the newly discovered units and the boundaries between them. 
This will make it possible then to paint a more detailed picture of what a lava creek eruption looks like, and maybe even what triggers it.